Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Revolution Online. In the last episode, we took on that huge route, and in today's episode, we're going to take on the next Pokemon gym. Alright, our team is looking extremely good so far. Um, we have this random rat and the Snorlax. Um, I'm actually going to get those off my team really quick before I do anything else. Alright, I think I'm just going to jump right in and take on this gym. I'm excited to see how Gyarados performs in this gym. Maybe even see if uh, your boy Raticate can do anything in here, but I don't know if he can. There is a Toxic Tutor in here, which is really helpful for PvP in the future if you ever want to get into that, but I don't know. Um, I just noticed that every single person in here is named Janine. I wonder um, how important that is. I'm about to fight every single Janine to, to win this gym. Um, but let's just go ahead and fight the first one just to see what this, uh, how Gyarados is going to do up against people here. Beat me and I'll give you a hint. Okay, I guess this is some kind of puzzle or something. All right, so her first Pokemon is going to be Quillfish. I'm just going to Dragon Dance up and then Crunch and see if what, whatever we can do. She shouldn't, oh yeah, that barely did, they did literally no damage at all. All right, so let's just go for the crunch. Let's probably one-shot it. Yo, I didn't one-shot it. We got we got poisoned. We got poisoned, though. Um, this is not a Moxie Gyarados. Yeah. Okay, so that's okay. That's okay. We'll take the poison. Um, this first trainer is just to check out and see, like, how this gym's going to be, because I'm, I'm not entirely sure. If we had a ground-hot move on our Gyarados, like Earthquake or something like that, then that would be OP, and we could just destroy it. Yeah. If we had a ground type move right now, we would be destroying everybody. All right, that battle was uh, super easy, and if we get six dragon dances, we're gonna win no matter what. I already, I already know. Um, we need to heal up Gyarados really quick before we do anything else, though. Wait, what was the hint that she gave me? I wasn't listening. I was not listening. What is the hint? The real Janine is in this room. That is actually a pretty good hint. Thank you very much for the, for that awful hint. All right, we'll battle this next Janine in this corner and see what she has. All right, she's actually gonna lead with Surviper. Um, since it's not a water top, we can just waterfall or aqua tail this thing. I don't know if we can kill it in one shot. Can we kill it in one shot? Yeah. Literally one shot of that Survivor with 35k experience. Nice. Gyarados is up to level 60. And yeah, Gyarados is a monster right now, dude. Gyarados is a monster. I think we got to battle every single Janine in this room. I'm not Janine. Beat me and I'll give you a hint. So yeah, we had to beat that girl to get to this girl, so we're good. We still got a long way to go. We've still got a long way to go. All right, this Janine um, has a bunch of coughing, so I'll just go ahead and defeat them really quick. Gyarados is now level 60. Um, yeah, we're gonna destroy the next gym. It's gonna be OP. All right, the, they keep just saying the real Janine is in this room. Gyarados needs to be healed up um, a lot right now. So let me help Gyarados really quick before I do anything else. Okay, I'm gonna say that this Janine here is the real one. Is this the real Janine? Huh. I am the real deal, Janine of Fuchsia City Gym. That is me. All right, we accidentally, uh, like stutter there, but we accidentally went up against the uh, the main Janine here. So her first Pokemon is um, Crobat, which is um, Gyarados is a huge counter to Crobat, so that's actually good. We can just set up really quick, and yeah, look at that wing attack. Did literally no damage at all. Um, we'll do one more Dragon Dance. I think two Dragon Dances ought to be enough to just knock out this entire gym. All right, now we'll start going for the attacks. Ice Fang's up next. And there we go, Crobat is dead. Deaded, we deaded the Crobat. 45K experience though, level 61 Gyarados. That is OP. Okay, up next we have a Weezing. We'll just Aqua Tail it really quick. There we go, nice. Yeah, so my only problem with my team right now is that if we ever face another Gyarados, we're gonna get smoked. There's literally nothing we can do. If we had to fight other Gyarados, we're just going to lose. That's that's the deal. That is the deal. All right. Um, Aridos is up next. Aqua Tail. we got two Aqua Tails left. I'm just hoping that we don't um, miss. All right. We're going to be the last Pokemon with what we have left. Easy. All right. Level 62 Gyarados. GZ. GZ, Gara. GZ. And Venomoth to finish it off. We'll just Aqua Tail it to death here. Hopefully we don't miss. And there we go, baby. There we go. That gym, that gym was so easy. That gym was dumb easy. All right. Ah, so strong. As a proof of your victory, I confer on you this: the official Pokemon League badge, the Soul Badge. All right. So that was uh, really easy. Really easy. You know, is there an easy way out of here? Oh, we had to battle everybody else. 
All right, there's actually, after we defeat this person, only one more Janine left, which I might as well just go ahead and defeat that Janine as well, so I can get the free XP. You never know why you might need the XP. XP is good for you. Always get the XP. Level 63 Gyarados. Nice. We've defeated every single Janine after this Pokemon, these two Pokemon here. Um, and now we've got one more thing to do after defeating the gym, um, and that's going to the Pokemon Safari. So hopefully you guys are ready to explore the Pokemon Safari. All right, so that was the gym completed. Um, we now have five out of eight gym badges. The next one is the Marsh Badge, which is the Psychic type gym, which is going to be extremely easy. Um, I think we're going to try to use Eradicate for that one. I want to train Roselia, but Roselia is weak to this next gym and the next one after that. So it's going to be a little bit hard to keep Roselia up to date on the strength and stuff. So um, we actually need a Pokemon that can learn Surf, and I don't want to teach you to do a Pokemon that I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just like do whatever and uh, find a Pokemon that we can just teach moves to. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. We actually don't have Surf yet because you actually get Surf from the Pokemon, um, the Safari Zone. I'm, that's how you get it in the actual game, so I'm assuming that's how you get it here. This is the EV Training Area Help Desk. That's pretty cool. I didn't know it was EV Training Area Help Desk. What does this guy say? Here, kiddo. Ready for a round of Safari? Here's some tips or some items you might need. All right, so it looks like you got to bring your own balls and stuff. This guy also sells elixirs and ethers and stuff, which I don't know if other people sell that, but that's that's pretty cool. I know if that's the Ultra Ball Maniac. I guess he sells Ultra Balls. All right, um, Safari Zone. I think I'd rather respite at the beach south of Future City first. Oh, okay. okay, so it's kind of telling us that we don't need to go here yet. We need to go to the Future City. So they must have took that out of the story, so it's a little bit different than the actual story. We can go down to the southern part of the beach over here. Just below the Pokemon Center in the Pokemon Pokemon Gym, I guess. All right, we just gotta go right through this little like route booth thing. There's a dude named Rick in here, Rick from Rick and Morty. All right, um, I think this is where we're gonna head south. Oh, there's Misty. I bet she gives us. Uh, there's actually a lot of people down here. Um, this is actually a good time to train Roselia because um, Roselia can defeat these swimmers and stuff. I'll defeat these people and these swimmer guys just to get some experience and then I'll talk to Misty and everybody else and, and see what we need to do to continue the story. All right, Rosalia just got some great experience. So on the water might be the best way to get experience on our Pokemons. I'm gonna talk to Misty really quick and see if she can help us. Misty, Misty, where are you, what are you doing? Hello, I'm in a special training camp, but you need to take it to participate. All right, I guess I don't know what that is. Here's Juan from the Hoenn region. Special camp sounds like interesting challenge and I'm eager to start. It's probably like a future quest. This is the trial master dudes. You should speak with the camp organizer first. Oh, I bet that's what the other guys are for. I wonder if this quest is completed yet. I have no idea. How do we surf, dude? Maybe I talked to this dude over here named Victor. I have no idea. Hey, dude, did you come to see my totally rad Pikachu, Puka? We've been training the other since we were really young. The radical dude is only a Pikachu that can surf. If you beat me, I'll tell you where the surf HM is. All right, so we have to defeat him, and then he'll teach us where to find HM surf. All right, let's see if one pedal dance can do it. All right. Um, hidden power, hidden power, fire, ass, whatever he has, but it's not strong enough to knock us out. Um, and then Pikachu is going to go down to a pedal dance here. All right, your Pikachu sucks. Give us that XP, dude. Nice. We level up to level 53 on Rosalia. GZ, Rosalia. GZ. Dude, that battle was far out. You can check the wooden table in the safari house. There's something that you, there you want to take. Okay. All right. So, um, wooden table in the safari house. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up really quick and then go back to that safari house. Alrighty, the safari house now should be available for us to at least... Um, is it that thing over there? This is the safari shop, so I don't know if this is where we're supposed to be. Let's see if we can go on into the thing now and uh, do whatever. Alright, so I can actually go in here. Welcome to Safari Zone. We have some options for you to access today. Would you like to enter the Safari Zone? 5,000 for a single use, 24 hour pass, EV training area. Let's go single use. I don't know what that means, but um, hopefully that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for HM Surf in the Safari House. Um, look at the wooden table, he said, so I guess I'll look and see if I can find anything. All right, so we get 20 minutes in here to look for the thing. Hello, young lad. The Kendall Safari Zone is home to some of the rarest Pokemon in Kanto region. It's even possible that other regional Pokemon have migrated here. Ooh, that sounds really cool, actually. I'm excited to see. Um, there's a south of that spawns here. Let's actually check and see if we can see any cool spawns that I might want to add to my team. Um, I really don't want any water Pokemon. Um, I guess that's Dr Dratini. Um, and there's Chansey. Rhyhorn might be cool, but we already have... Well, we don't even have a Rock-type Pokemon, which would be decent if we're going up against another Gyarados. 
Wait a minute. A lot of spells you can drag, click and drag your character and make him walk. I had no idea you could do that. Alright, I'm assuming that HM Surf is at the end of this thing, like in the actual Pokemon game. So, I th I'm thinking about maybe um, actually putting on some repels, but I'm not even running the wild Pokemon. Just as I said that, I ran into a wild Pokemon. But I'm not really running any wild Pokemon. Maybe I would will just do that just in case I run into one that maybe I want to catch. So, I'll keep my options open. But if not, I'm just going to continue walking to the end where I can find HM Surf, hopefully. Um, I might need to catch one of these Pokemon to teach them HM Surf, just so I can get out of here. I have no idea. We're going to find out, though. Um, I'm going to go into each one of these houses, just in case Surf might be in here, or something important might be in here. You never know. Ooh, there's a Poison Jab Tutor. Um, I think Rosé is a special attacker. Yeah, definitely a special attacker. I don't think we can teach Poison Jab to Raticate, but that would be a really cool move to have, especially against Fairy-type Pokemon. Um, what would I get rid of? Quick Attack, probably. Let's see if Raticate can learn Poison Jab, because that's a pretty cool move. Um, Alright, we got Poison Jab. He sells TM Poison Jab. That's a pretty good TM to have. Alright, Raticate can't learn that. But we have it in the future if we want to teach it somebody else. So, let's just keep going. Oh, what in the world is this? I found like a little shed or something over here. It's kind of weird. There's nothing in here. There's literally nothing in here. What is this place? Secret house. It's just called a secret house with nothing in it. There is a pumpkin in the corner for some reason. I don't know why. It's not Halloween. All right, the safari zone is starting to differ from the actual game, but I'm assuming that this is the final house right here. Let's see if this has HM Surf in it. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then we're going to be going on. What does it say? Resting Lounge. Let's see if it has HM Surf in it. Oh, it actually does have an item. It is HM Surf. HM3 Surf, dude. Nice. Nice. Let's continue on. Now, if I remember correctly, there is also another HM in this area that we can get. Um, let me see if I can teach Rat or Rat Ratata Surf. I think they can learn that, right? Hopefully they can. Okay, Ratata can't use that. I actually need a water type Pokemon that I don't have. So I have to actually encounter one. Wait a minute, Snorlax actually spawns. Eevee spawns here. Eevee and Snorlax both spawn here. What does this guy say? Some random random officer down here. He says, hey there. This is for special members only. I guess you have to have membership or something or whatever to get in that area. And we don't have that, so too bad for us. All right, we're back at the front of the safari zone, um, but there's literally nothing we can do right now. Um, we need to find some Pokemons that we can actually use. Do I have a fishing rod that I can use? All right, we made it out of the safari zone, but we still need to find ourselves a water type Pokemon to um, learn how to use Surf, but there's actually someone around here who can help us out with that, I'm pretty sure. It might be in this house here. Yes, here is the dude. This is the guy that's gonna help us. Hello, trainer. I'm the fishing guru. Okay. You can still get a fishing rod from me, but you'll have to pay for it. Oh, I almost forgot. You will need to prove that you have prior fishing experience before I can see the good rod to you. Oh, I see. You have an older fishing rod. We'd have to buy it for 15k, dude. I don't know how much money I have. Okay, there we go. We have a good rod now. We can actually catch a Pokemon that can use Surf for us. And this will be our first time using Surf. So let's go ahead over here to this little area and see what we can get with a rod. I think we, can, we have a good rod now. So I'm not really sure how we use this. I think we just click it. Um, good rod. All right, do we just stand here? Okay, there's like a little thing in the top left. All right, we encountered a Poliwag. So this Pokemon can learn Surf, I hope. We'll just throw some Ultra Balls at it. Hopefully we can just get it really early um, and just catch it because I don't want to have to like weaken it and do stuff to it. I just want to catch it and use it. That's my, that's my goal here. So just get in the ball, dude. All right, there we go. Poliwag was captured. Now let's teach it surf and use it as a slave. You are now our surf slave. All right, he learned surf. Wait, okay, he's trying to learn it now. Okay, we want to get rid of water gun, whatever, whatever. Okay, can we use surf now? Yes. Okay, there we go. That's how we use surf. Nice. That's our first time using that. So, we got Surf, we defeated the gym leader, and I think that's going to be all we're doing with this episode. I guess in the next episode, we're going to take on the gym leader in Saffron City. I think that's how the story works. It might be a little bit different because you can see um, it's not exactly the same as the original Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green or Red and Blue or whatever you played before as a kid. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you do enjoy these Pokemon Revolution online videos, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. As always, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.